What's up, guys? It's Epic SDG, and today we're talking about elite tips for CODs Team Deathmatch. Cue the intro. So guys, today we're going to teach you how to get ahead in Team Deathmatch, but before we do that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep this great content coming to you. Now, I apologize ahead of time, I'm a little under the weather, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to give you a great video. And I'm going to start with my simple formula for winning, and that is speed wins. Now, in most scenarios, aiming faster plus moving faster will allow kills to happen faster and there's a couple of really choice weapons for in TDM specifically because in TDM it's all about the kill count now that would be the KF5 the ASM1 and that's your short range options and then we have the BAL27 and the AK12 for your longer range options now there's plenty of good weapons in this game and there's some others that are not so good and we'll talk about that in later elite tips videos but the kf5 because the first five rounds of each magazine have increased damage and if i'm not mistaken i think that damage is somewhere between 33 and 35 and that will at close range with the bonus damage you are guaranteed a three to four shot kill but the asm1 can guarantee the same three to four shot kill in a similar range not needing the extra damage boost and that's why i recommend both of them now, what you want to do is, with the KF5, you want to have advanced rifling and a hybrid scope. Now, the reason you want to have a hybrid is because, in this game, for some strange reason, and I learned this by watching a couple other people play with the hybrid scope, you actually have a faster ADS time against other types of scopes, like red dot scopes or your normal iron sights, which gives you just that slight millisecond advantage that might allow you to win more gunfights and you want to use advanced rifling to extend that three to four shot kill range. The next thing is, with the ASM-1, you want to want advanced rifling and the grip. Now the ASM-1 has an amazing iron sight setup, so you don't really need one, even though a hybrid sight would give you that extra millisecond. Right now, we want to use it for other things, and like I said, the grip will tame that the little bit of extra recoil that this gun has. It's, only, it's very minute, but with the grip, it actually turns the gun more into a laser and the advanced rifling to extend that three to four shot kill range. Now, for the longer weapons, we said we have the BAL-27 and the AK-12. Now, the BAL-27, which in the AK-12, very, very similar weapons, but there I've used different ones for different scenarios. If I'm playing a short to medium range board, I will absolutely want the BAL because the BAL's rate of fire increases after the first couple of bullets. And with that, I'm running the grip and the hybrid optic. Now, if you're feeling snazzy for primary gunfighter, you can always run a stock, which will make aiming a little easier because I personally rather aim easy, uh, aim differently with side-to-side -side motion as opposed to uh, a lateral motion. So, with the AK-12, you want to use this for more sustained fire, longer range engagements, and that's because the, uh, the AK-12 has much better recoil than the bow and a slower rate of fire, which will be a lot more easier to control. Now, all, we're running that with a silencer and a hybrid optic. Now, I'm doing this instead of grip because it's this gun is already super accurate, so the grip is totally unnecessary for it. So the silencer helps, it might drop your range a little bit, but it'll help keep you off the radar, and the hybrid optic is a lot faster than the other optics. Now, this is a given, but I'll go ahead and say it. You wanna use the short range weapons with the KF5 and the ASM1 and small to medium match, and the BAL and the AK-27 in medium to longer range maps. Now, all of these weapons have a three to four shot kill range. Obviously, the assault rifles have a higher three to four shot kill range than the submachine guns, but they all have a very decent range, and advanced rifling will fix that for everybody, especially for the SMGs. And you wanna be aggressive and play the range game in this. Don't take those really long shots if you're using the ASM-1. Even though you can totally get kills with that in the KF-5 at longer ranges, that's just not what these weapons are designed for. These weapons are designed for you to be in your opponent's space. So if you're running these, play a more rushing play style, okay? Always play the range game. And remember, the closer you are to the enemy, the closer you are to their quick kill range, that three to four shot kill range. So use caution when getting up in their face. Always remember that. Now. A combo that I've seen a couple people run, and I've actually heard some of the pros and some of the other major YouTubers talk about it, is the parabolic mic and the silencer. This is an amazing thing. This allows you to stay off the radar 
but keep other people on the radar no matter what. Because it's all about staying quiet in this game specifically for TDM. It's about being quick and being silent. And I don't mean silent by no noise, I mean quick and off the radar. Easiest way to excel at TDM. And to help with this, you want to run perk, you want to run low pro for UAVs, you want to run blind eye for your score streaks and cold blooded for if you want to, if you have problem being no heat signatures, and you want to run blast of pepper, uh, suppressor to keep your exo movement off the radar. Now, as for your score streaks, remember to run score streaks that you feel comfortable with, but that stack well. And these are the streaks that I'm going to suggest. These are all low to medium tier streaks, but this will allow you to maximize the situational awareness and harass the enemy at the same time. So what I run is what I like to call the Ultra UAV. Now, I am not the person that came up with this. However, this thing works. I've been using this since I first heard about it. I think I saw Chaos X Silencer say something about it. So Jimmy said, and I quote, threat detection, more time and support. The reason you, this is a high level kill streak, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, 1100 points. But since you have support, you're always working through it. Now, this works well on other game types too, but this specifically works well in TDM because you put threat detection, which will stop people from hiding, okay? This gives you that good situation awareness. If anyone's running Exo Cloak, they'll still show up briefly to threat detection. And if any other perks keep them off, well, people don't generally run perks that will keep them off of the mini map like that at this stage. And I don't understand why, but people don't. Because you want to say, quick and off the radar is the name of the game. And threat, like I said, people and people almost assuredly don't run anything for threat detection. People, and I'm pretty sure for threat detection, it's uh, cold blooded if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, I might be blind eye, but it's cold blooded or blind eye. More time keeps you helped because you're, it's always up. And support, like I said, you're always working towards it. And when you die, you don't lose it. Now, the other one you know run is the assault drone. And you can run this in any configuration you feel comfortable with. But the base one is really good just to harass. And you want to run system hack. Also, just for the harass. Because system hack is way overpowered, even though it's been nerfed. So don't even worry about it. Run those, and you will always do good. Like I said, they're loaded. And that's all I got. So, if you guys got anything else, don't forget to email us, tweet us, anything. Get at us. There'll be more videos coming in the future. This is SDG signing out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do good at TDM. Take it easy, guys.